Hello friends, uh, this is Vivek and here is a short tuto video tutorial on how to install Apache Tomcat for running servlets and JSP on your Windows PC. Okay, now this is for both XP and Vista because this will work on both. So starting from the beginning, you need to have the JDK or the JR installed on your system. Okay, now if you want to compile your own servlets, I mean do the coding work, then you must have the JDK because the Java compiler, the Java C is in JDK only. And if you just want to run some predefined servlets or some code you may be having, then the JRE would be just fine. So starting with this stuff, uh, okay. Now, what you can guys do is just so visit this Java website at java.sun.com slash Java SE downloads. And here you will find this Java SE runtime environment, JRE. Okay, this is the latest one. So download it and this is the JDK. Okay, download it too. If you're having another JDK, I mean around 1.5 plus, then it's still fine. But you can always get the latest JRE and JDK right from here. Okay, now download it, install it. Okay, that's our first part. I have already installed it, so I won't be doing it. Now visit the Apache Tomcat site. It's tomcat.apache.org. Okay, now here in the download section, this, uh, this is the latest version, Tomcat 6.x. Now go down. Here you can find the binary distributions. It says the code, it says zip. Okay, download this file. Okay, I have already downloaded it and I'll be showing you what I've done with it. Okay, so now here's the file that I downloaded. It's Apache Tomcat. Okay, now what you do is just unzip it right here only. So I unzipped it and I got this folder. It was something like Tomcat 6.0, 1.8. I just renamed it to Tomcat 6. Okay, that's better. Now you will have this folder, it will have all these directories and web apps is where you keep your servlets and JSP files and here is the bin directory, okay. <clears throat> it contains all the executables and where you will be starting your server and shutting it down from. Now to start this server, you need to have an environment variable set, otherwise it won't start. It won't even run your JSP pages in that way. So I'll tell you what to do. You just uh, go to your my computer, right click. On properties okay now here you will have this um, okay this is the Vista screen okay now I think you know how to bring up this key screen system properties on XP also you can just uh, get by right clicking on my computer on your desktop or on the start menu and then go into properties now in this advanced tab you will have this environment variables button click on it now you just have to add a new system variable by the name java underscore home yeah, okay okay i've already added it see here so how to add it okay i have already done it but i will tell you how to do this on your system go to new now type in java underscore home and the value of this variable would be the location of your jre so i'm not doing it because i already have this variable i'll just show you what i did let me show you I just copied my JDK is in this uh, C program files Java JDK 1.601. Okay, so I just copied that part. I'll, I'll show you once again where my JDK lies because many people have problem copying the JDK. You can see program files. Here is my Java folder. Okay, and here is the JDK folder. So I just click on it. I don't go inside the bin. I just simply click here. I just copy this part. Okay. You have to copy this in XP2 or whatever and right in the system properties I paste it okay and then okay so now your Java home a new variable has been added and its path has been given okay and this needs to be added because Apache Tomcat needs the JDK location to run itself because it, it itself depends on Java now once you have done this what you simply need to do is whenever you need to start your server, I mean Apache Tomcat, just go to C Tomcat 6 bin folder, and here is this startup dot bat. It's a batch file. Just double click on it. See, it will start your server. See some something going on, and you will see that the last line will be info server startup in somewhat milliseconds depends on each computer speed 
with you the server has been started so now you can confirm that by going to the default server location which is at localhost 8080 okay oh 8080 press enter yeah yippee we get the server started okay the apache tomcat logo and here is your server now just have a brush up you can see just here are just some sample examples the solid examples and gsp examples which can go through so here are the solid examples this is the hello world okay let's execute it bingo we have that hello world show there and here's the complete path i'm gonna go back okay right here so and here's the source code for that example good you can learn some basic servlets right from it anyways now we're done with this so you have started up your server now what you have to do is like you have some your web gsp files which your friend gave you or something like this you just copy them here okay like i have copied this uh, folder and now put all your files here okay well actually i think i'll be detailing this all this web inf and classes stuff later for right now i will just um, i think that's enough you have got the server started i will show you how to deploy a servlet and how to run gsp files uh, in my next tutorial till then bye for now have a good day